Hey guys, welcome back to GBO, your women's gear review channel. I am Orla and today we are reviewing the Bellroy Transit 28 litre backpack. In this review, we are going to cover the summary, features, fit check, comfortability, whether or not it passes the female body test, some pros and cons, airline test, water test, and if there is anything that we haven't covered, then you can drop us a comment below. Okay, let's get cracking with the summary. This bike features durable, water-resistant, woven fabric made from recycled materials, and it does have environmentally certified leather. I believe this is a Canva ripstop nylon, which makes it highly resistant to wear and tear. The dimensions are 20.81 inches in height by 14.17 inches in width by 7.48 inches in depth. You can get this in the black or navy, or you can opt for the green that I have here. The shape is definitely interesting. I personally like the look of this bike in comparison to the other backpacks that we have tested, which is the Melbourne and the transit work pack. I think that this one just in terms of shape and style is definitely a bit more of me. I absolutely love this colour. It does kind of sit up by itself if you kind of give it a wiggle and set it down but sometimes it does flop forward so just be careful what you are packing in the front. I do like how they have complemented some grey in this backpack as well to just highlight it a bit more and also the interior is quite bright as well and it just works both for an urban life and also a work lifestyle. The bottom of the bike is well padded like you wouldn't think it because it is quite flexible in its design but the back here is sufficiently padded and also the bottom so where you really want it to be padded it is. The product are covered by a three-year warranty from the day they were bought. This covers faults in the materials and workmanship. They offer worldwide shipping. The links are below so you can check that out. Okay, so let's get cracking with the features of this bike. You do have a wee bit of subtle branding throughout this bike. So you have some on the front and then on the straps as well. Nothing too in your face. It is very, very nice and I, I do enjoy it, but you also know that you're getting the Bellroy bike by their statement on the front. So the zips are all coated and sealed. They do have their own custom pillars on some of the zips. For the kind of top access pocket, it is just a simple YKK zipper. And then also for the kind of water bottle compartments, they are pillars too. So you only have one top grab and handle here, which is that seatbelt material. It's not overly comfortable, but it does the job in just maneuvering it. So at the top, you do have this microfiber mesh pocket, which has a bit of stretch to it, which is really nice. But I do also prefer for delicates to have a kind of fleece line material in there. I've opted to place my purse in there just to be aware. There is no anti-theft lock or anything at the top. And also when we get into the main compartment, that does involve into the space of your kind of packing compartment too so it just it doesn't really compromise the space because you can kind of flop it on top of your stuff but we'll get into that in a wee minute. On this side you do have your two water bottle compartments or just organization pockets. On one side I have opted to fit in my 500 mil. You still have enough space if you wanted to go a bit larger with it and um, in terms of like one liter it's not really going to fit in there um but you even if you had like a smaller tripod or you wanted just some organization within the bag then you have these two identical compartments where you can do that for me personally i am someone who prefers a water bottle compartment on the outside rather than it tucked away but i guess in terms of just this whole design it works really well for that and as long as it fits my 500 mil then and grand. So you have your front pocket here which is just swing the bag around get what you need and inside you do have some organization that is on its side if you wish to use that. I don't really use the organization. You also have two wee pen holders as well. Then you have a key lash which is quite different. It's really easy to use but just knowing my luck I would snap this if I just pushed it a bit too hard but it's quite durable like I've been pushing on it for a while now through testing just to see and it's been it's been really great and that's just easy to swing the bike around and get your keys out in there. If you want to tuck it away in the organisation then you can. There is plenty of space in there. I've opted to put my makeup bag in there. When you put in something in the front, depending, yeah, it does kind of show up in the material so you are 
getting that shape of whatever product you might have in there. So you have your main compartment. They are not lockable zips, but if you had a tinier lock, you could maybe lock them yourself. What I love is that even if you are coming from the top here, you can kind of get in to this front pocket or what you have. You can kind of dig in as a top loading if you wanted to. But other than that, then it opens up as your clamshell opening. Just be aware again, as you're flapping this down, what you have in the front grand just because it's kind of elevated a bit so you have a bit of organization with this kind of stretchy mesh which is absolutely stunning you have a pocket that runs across um, and it just runs a bit down so you can have that as your top loading pocket so as mentioned you can get in through the bag and grab what you need from this pocket then on the side interestingly enough i love this kind of design you've got the whole room to this pocket so again just a nice bit of organization if you wanted to fire in kind of your laptop or any kind of ipad or anything then you can do that in there i would opt to be padding it up though so this is a 12 inch laptop if you kind of angle it you might be able to get it in because there should be enough space for it but as mentioned i would probably opt to pad up this pocket if you wanted to place in any kind of tech gear this is my 12 inch and it's 12 inches down and 9.5 across and it still has a little bit of wiggle room but as you've seen i would have had to go in at an angle for this pocket that is just an additional one this backpack does have a laptop compartment which we'll get into in a minute but just say you had any more tech that just gives you a bit of reference of the space so in here you do have again just space to kind of organize your own backpack yourself you have compression straps so you can compress all your items down say you open up the bike so that prevents everything from falling out the two water bottle compartments if they are packed then it does kind of compromise the space a bit. And then, as you can see, if you have any items in that top loading pocket, it does, again, compromise the space. But you can still pack up plenty here. I've got in a lot and you can probably opt to get in more if you're packing smart or if you are using packing cubes. Again, then you're going to get more in. Just be careful when you are and whatever you have in here that you are compressing it down. So you just know, again, just add your own protection if you want to. I love that it's quite simple to the point you have your own kind of range of packing this bike up using packing cubes not using packing cubes there isn't loads of organization in here so if you are preferring a bit more organization then maybe look towards a different backpack this is a simple to the point with great materials inside and outside Okay, so moving on to the laptop compartment, you've got a fleeced material, which is super great. If you don't have a cover on your laptop, then this feels even safer. It has a false bottom and it runs 16.5 inches until you get caught off by the flap. And it is just under 11.5 across. I do appreciate the two kind of extended flaps on the side because when it is fully packed, this is quite compressed in. So that just gives you a bit more room to pull on it. Unlike the peak design one it like gets their everyday backpack where you literally are fighting for your life to try and get in but at least you know that whatever you have in there electronic wise whether it's your laptop ipad or whatever you know that it is completely safe and pressed up and with that fleece line material it just gives that added protection then you kind of have this flexible board and then within that there is a water resistant material pocket it is easy to clean kind of style just again if you have anything top loaded maybe you want to put your charger in there for your laptop then there is organization to do that and this is pretty easy going through tsa to just grab out your electronics from the back or even if you had liquids you could shove that in there too so there is sufficient padding so it doesn't compromise in terms of the comfort of you feeling that laptop on your back or anything like that so now on to the back system i have this elevated wash board back with stretchy mesh it is well padded and the same materials run onto the inside of the straps. I am not a fan of the padding like stopping. I prefer it running right onto the main part of the straps. That is just personal preference. You do have an adjustable sternum strap. It has this magnetic kind of clip which is easy to maneuver but is well secured. You can adjust that how you need and also the same for the straps here. I absolutely love the pull that they have on the thumb so you can pull down and adjust it a bit better and also this color is really really nice i love the colors that complement this bike okay on to fit check comfortability and whether or not this has passed the female body test so i am wearing a hoodie and this is kind of what it is like on me as how i like it which is tapered tight i am five foot six for reference 
In terms of comfortability, the straps are actually well padded. They're nice, but if you're not wearing a jacket, it is going to rub onto your neck. And also the tighter you kind of go and putting on the sternum strap, it does create that kind of gap that I don't like with some straps, especially with Stubble & Co, the everyday backpack, when you kind of put on that sternum strap, it created that kind of bulge. I thought that wouldn't happen with this because it is thinner in the straps. If you remove the sternum strap or kind of extend it out, we'll just remove it to see. It does kind of release a bit, so it's only really when you put on the sternum strap. In terms of comfort and the female body, it passes grand. I've had no issues with this. The back system is lovely. It really does support you and prompt you up, especially how I like it. There is definitely a bit of airflow as well, especially if you are wearing jackets, you're going to sweat. If you are walking long hours with a backpack anyways, you are looking for a bag that kind of just implements some sort of airflow so that your back isn't getting overly sweaty. Here, you've got a few moments on this backpack to do that. So yeah, I give it a good 9 out of 10 in terms of comfort. It's just the sternum strap when it's on kind of gives a bit of an awkward look. Hey guys, I'm Bradley and this is Kazzy. We are from Dream Big Travel Far. And we are running weekly gear giveaways in collaboration with Gear by Orla. And if you want to be in with the chance to win, then hit that subscribe button and go to the first link in the description to join the newsletter. Be sure to check your inbox every week to see if you are that week's lucky winner. We'll see you there. Okay, time for the airline test. So we're going to just check this as a carry on. I know it should definitely be grand for that. If you're just being careful of your straps fits in nicely with still plenty of space to go. So you're grand on that front. In terms of a personal item, it's definitely a bit off. And I think that's because the back here in the length is what's cutting it off. If you're not fully packing it, you could try and shove it in, but I wouldn't risk it. So for the water test, as you can see, the water kind of just runs off this style of material. And with the coated zips, you are well protected. Okay, time for some pros and cons. Pros for me are that it is lightweight. It is easy to pack. Great materials. They are very durable. And in my opinion, it is a gorgeous design. So a few cons or a few things to think about, really. There is no luggage pass through. Do I need it? Do I miss it? No. Um, sometimes I think that can almost compromise the back support. So it depends. Let me know in the comments what you think, if it should have a luggage pass through or not. Thinking of travel, just some more external maybe loopholes so that I can um, add on my headphones because I like to have those externally and um, maybe just some more attachment points. I think if we're going for a carry on, maybe a side handle would have helped for putting it in you know, into the basket this way. So it is a bit easier instead of having to maybe grab onto the straps. This backpack is a great one bag travel. It can be used as a professional bag or also a casual bag. I think if you're someone who craves and loves a bag with more organization and more character in terms of external features, anti-theft touches, then this bag is probably not for you. If you are someone who is looking for a clean, aesthetically pleasing, functional, lasting backpack, then Click the links below. That is the end of our review. We hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then why not consider joining the GBO community by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.